Hi everybody, it's Cookie Lou in Arizona. I'm coming to you with my breakfast in hand. I'm finishing up my protein drink with a premier caramel flavored uh, protein drink and coffee, decaf coffee, ice cubes, and a little bit of cream. And that's what I've been enjoying for breakfast. It's really good. Mm. So what am I doing this morning? Sitting to you in my underwear in Arizona. Well, I'm here to celebrate with you. Yesterday was six weeks since I had my surgery in Monterey, Mexico with Dr. Francisco Sorceda. At that time, I had a brachoplasty arm lift, uh, which I'm going to show you the scars of, and I had my uh, breast lifted and um, old implants from 33 years ago removed. Um, briefly, uh, the um, implants were 33 years old. I had them done because I had a birth defect, uh, abnormal devel development of my breast. Um, I had a beautiful supple size C for many, many years. Then I noticed that uh, time was progressing on. My breasts were aging and deteriorating. And uh, apparently when they took these old implants out, one of them had deflated, it was a leak. Uh, and uh, so I went from a C to a B, and that's what this bra is. So now the implants are out. New implants were not put in at this time to give my breast tissue a chance to rest and recuperate. Uh, when I go back to see Dr. Sorceda in November to do my tummy tuck and get this stuff removed, he'll put the implants in at, the, at that time. So uh, this is pretty much what I have left. I got my little small boobies back. You can see that the bra does not fit. This is a size 40B, which is what I wore before I had weight loss surgery, and this is pretty much what I have left um, uh, of my breasts. Um, the weight loss, losing over 130 plus pounds, I have no fat on my chest. I'm very bony, so I'm very flat up until the nipple area. This is very flat, and uh, that's why this doesn't fill in with any breast tissue because it's just flat. And I have some stuff down here. Uh, I have a lot more breasts than I thought I would considering the situation, but um, uh, I'm not going to go out and buy smaller breasts, uh, smaller bras for these smaller breasts. I went and got this instead. What is it? Falsies. <laughs> got them at Walmart for $5.68, and this is what they look like. This is a size BC, and uh, it's uh, all that I need to uh, fill in the bra. Let's see, do I have this in right? Yeah. And takes the wrinkles out of the bra. Look, voila. Oh God, did you think you were going to see Cookie Lou fooling around with her boobies and her brassiere this morning? I don't think so. But look, you know, that's good. It fills it in. See? It gives me a nice shape. Um, I'm all tangled up in some wires here. Um, I don't know. These are my scars. On the lollipop incision. Uh, this here down here is uh, where they have the um, drain for 24 hours before they took it out. This one here is the uh, smaller of the two, still in, uh, it's uh, still a little red and a little scabby from where this, the uh, stitches came out, but I'm doing good. This is the uh, scars on the um, arm lift, the brachoplasty. Um, it's still a little red, still a little bumpy, a little numb. This is my right arm, and I do feel a little pinching here. Something is sticking out. I think it might be some stitches sticking out of the incision. I don't really see anything, but I feel it. This is the other arm. Good. There we go. There's a glare. Um, this area right here on both arms is flat. You can barely see it. Then it gets a little puckered and a little thick. You know. 
This one I think is the better of the two, feeling wise. Um, I have no tenderness to the one. Very little, very little. Uh, this one here, my um, elbow where the drain was in this area here is still very tender. And this is still very hard, lumpy, swollen. Okay, what have I been doing for my scars? Well, exactly what I was told to do. Using Mederma Scar Cream. This is what it looks like in the tube. Um, it's um, a very good treatment for scars to lessen the, the discoloration and to flatten it. And I'll give you a little, I have put it on. I put it on my nipples and uh, on my breast and on my my arms and this is kind of what it looks like when it comes out of the container it's like a little liquidy Vaseline type see that and uh, you just uh, rub it in gently uh, a doctor recommended to do this three times a day my surgeon uh, it's dry already but this is an advanced formula, and it recommends one time a day. So if you want to get the advanced formula, I think one time a day. As long as you do it consistently, you're fine. So I recommend the Mederma, and I recommend these little puppies if you want to fill out your bra for some reason. I do not recommend buying any of these things like I did <laughs> when I sat here for six weeks being totally sedentary sitting in the chair, watching TV, bored out of my mind, triple digits outside, not going out if I could help it, you know, uh, unless uh, I need to go to the grocery store or the bank or somewhere like that. Uh, so between laying in the bed, sitting in the recliner, and eating comfort foods to soothe my boredom and my discomfort because this hurt. It really did, I have to say. Uh, having the pain in here that I did, that burning sensation which was so bad in the forearms and the tendon pulling that was so bad, uh, it's very painful. I'd say 10 times more painful than I thought it would be. So in six weeks time, I am finally saying I am maybe 90% normal with, with the arms, you know. And uh, I'm happy with the result of uh, the arm lift. Uh, I'm still a little flabby, but that's because I'm not a 50-year-old woman. I'm a 70-plus-year-old woman, and I have uh, old skin. But, um, you know, it looks good from this point, this angle, you know. I mean, these things, these puppies were down to here. You know, and of course, I still have this because of my age. But whatever, you can't have everything. So when I was sitting down munching on these delicious little things, uh, and I only tell the only reason why I bought them is because they were on sale. They usually like $4.99 a box, they were down to $2.99 a box. I bought three boxes because I needed a lot of comfort. And I ate all nine ice cream pops. That plus I went to Costco and I got some stuff at Costco and I had bought a cake at Costco. Uh, and I was I ate I'd say 75% of that, and then I said, enough, and I threw it in the garbage bin. But, uh, yeah, between that, and I did have a lot of bread, I ate a lot of sandwiches, uh, I did get up and do a lot, did, did a lot of cooking, you know, uh, but I tried to uh, just um, cook at night, because uh, I didn't want to use my arms too much, I didn't want to lift things in the oven, and it was so hot outside, I don't like putting the oven on if I don't have to. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, I was eating um, sandwiches because it was easier, and uh, bread really puts the pounds on me. So between the ice cream pop, the cake, I did have chocolate candy because I was craving chocolate like a girl on a 12-month period binge or something, and um, and I gained four pounds. My, I came back from Mexico, and for some miraculous reason, I had lost 10 pounds that month. I don't know why, because the doctor certainly didn't cut 10 pounds off of me, not on the arms, and certainly not taking them out of, the, out of my breast. So um, it was a gift from my duodenal switch, and I 
thanked uh, that wonderful DS surgeon surgery by immediately uh, eating crap and I gained four pounds. But I'm happy to say today the four pounds is gone, all but a half pound of it. I was 74.5 pounds. My all time low was 72.8, I just say 73. So uh, 73, 74 and a half. Uh, it's a pound and a half still on me. Uh, and that should come off by next week. Um, what am I doing to correct it? I'm correcting my eating. No more ice cream pops, no more chocolate, no more cake, no more bread. I have maybe one slice a day if I have at all. I'm eating salads. I'm eating a turkey, like chicken burgers. I'm eating, I, I, bought, um, I made a, a, a pork tenderloin roast. I've been eating that. Uh, I am having <clears throat> some mashed potato with it. Uh, but I have one meal, one big meal a day, and the rest of the time it's just salads or just uh, put a, a turkey breast, cooked turkey breast, and I slice that up and I eat that. I have salami, uh, little salami um, pieces, and I, I eat that. I eat cheese. So I could do a lot of grazing during the day, and I just have. Oh, and this is what I'm having for breakfast. It was recommended by another. A weight loss surgery patient on the channel and it's really good. I bought this at Costco. It's a special K crustless quiche with sausage, quinoa, peppers, mozzarella, and asagi almond with cheese and it's delicious. Uh, one of these you can keep in the freezer. Um, take it out of the, the cellar vein, put it in the microwave for two minutes and you're set. Uh, I have that with some sliced tomato, maybe a little sliced avocado cup of tea and that's my breakfast and it's very filling and that's a good uh, that's a good choice uh, meal to have for the day. Uh, I put a little bit of extra cheese on top the last minute that it's in the microwave to melt some extra cheese on it just to make it a little bit more um, gooey because I like melted cheese on my on my eggs and, uh, and I'm doing well I'm getting back down to normal and I'm on the treadmill at least 20 to 30 minutes a day. I've been doing that for the last three days. And um, because I've been so sedentary for the last six weeks, I want to start moving again. And that's a good way to do it for me. So that's about it. That's what I've been doing. I'm correcting my eating. I'm practically back down to where I need to be uh, at my all time low weight since my uh, surgery. Um, I want to get down to 170 as my maximum weight. And uh, hopefully when I go to see Dr. Sosave in November and have my, have all this removed here, and there's quite a bit here, and on my full belly as well, that's got to be at least six pounds, minimum of six pounds, I'd say five or six pounds. So that should put me, if I get down to at least 170 by the time of the surgery, and hopefully, you know, i got plenty of time left, I'll be maybe in the high 160s. You know, if I could lose even you know, five or six pounds, I'm, uh, let's say I'm 165 by the time I go into my uh, extended tummy tuck, and then he takes another five or six pounds off me, and then I'll be at that maybe 159, 160 range, and I'll be good. And that's not even doing my legs. My legs, that's probably another four pounds on my legs, I'm sure, but uh, he won't do my, my legs at that time. That would have to be another time. Um, so I don't even know if I want to do that because the legs, I think, and the arms are probably the two most difficult to heal from. So I don't know, we'll see. Right now, I got the arms done. I got the bad implants out of my breasts. Um, I will put in implants to fill in my breasts again, and I will get the, the tummy tuck to get rid of all this excess double patterns that I have. And... Uh, that's also going to, he's also going to take out the extra weight that I have in my hip area. And uh, I might look pretty in great shape just having that done. Um, and I might just leave the legs alone. Okay, everyone, that's about it. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. It's uh, almost 15 minutes in, and um, that's about it. Got nothing much more to say, so... Saying goodbye in Arizona in my underwear, <laughs> ta-da, with my little falsies in my bra. And uh, that's it. Love you all. Have a great rest of the week.
Bye.